I'll tell you what makes this place special. The wide open spaces, the cold, fresh water of the springs and the rivers. It's a hot spot of biodiversity. People who live out here in Bandera definitely have a bit of that Western pioneer spirit. We just find it remarkable and are, are drawn to making it home. It's very unique. It gives us something breathtaking to observe at the end of our day, which is the beauty of the night sky. Dark skies are important to every living thing out here. It really isn't just about astronomy. It's about preserving a balance. We are not exempt from the laws of nature just because we're human beings. All living things rely on the cycling of daylight and darkness. These are rules that can't be denied. We call the Hill Country the edge of night because it is on that cusp of dark, pure night skies and large metropolitan urban areas. And unfortunately, that line is moving in the wrong direction, headed west, encroaching on those perfect night skies. And it's all because of light pollution. Preventing that negative impact to human health, to the economy, to the environment, is the underlying mission of the Night Sky Program at Hill Country Alliance. Ecotourism plays a huge role in the economy out in the western regions of the hill country particularly. The cost of light pollution is unseen often to most people, they don't even think about it. But in the context of what I do for a living of rebuilding native prairies, if someone takes the darkness away, I can't put it back. Light pollution is bad for business. With extreme amounts of artificial lighting, you will have less and less native insects. It also impacts the native flora, the plants, because there's less pollination that can occur. And so there's slowly this changeover to what might as well be called an ecological desert. In the state of Texas, we estimate that $300 million is wasted every year shining light up into the night sky. So through the Night Sky Program, the Hill Country Alliance is working to educate the public about what light pollution is and how we can prevent it. Overall, it's finding a way to combat light pollution and reclaim our night sky. So the Night Sky Program helps grow and foster what we call Friends of the Night Sky groups. These are assemblies of volunteers, people that live in these communities, that interact with their city and their fellow residents. Uh, a lot of our groups work with business owners or residential owners, landowners, to improve their lighting. Those groups will move forward to help their communities enact or improve on already existing outdoor lighting ordinances. There are such simple incremental steps that can be taken that make a huge difference to bring down the lights. Proper color temperature of bulb, proper shielding, directing the light where it needs to go. If they can turn off their lights, we recommend putting them on timers or having them be motion detected. Starting at home is a great fundamental step and then we share this information with other folks. When people come to Bandera, they want to look up at the sky and see the stars at night. The night sky effort is one way we can take care of ourselves and protect this place in the world the way it is and has been. At least half a dozen times during the year, we bring folks together for star parties. It's a great opportunity to experience the night sky for themselves, to learn about what it is we're trying so hard to protect while under what it is we're trying to protect. There's something that when I look up at a dark night sky, it reminds me of wildflowers, the massive depth and diversity, the infinity of it is mind-boggling. 
There are so many complex issues facing society now across the whole globe. But one of the simplest things we could do is fix this light pollution. Just imagine, if we could get that under our belt, what would we do next about all these problems we're facing? We could tackle them one at a time. Let's go.